Professor Yemi Osimbaju, we know you're a man of great intellectual capacity for reasoning. You possess this great mental power of a gentleman, so we hope you'll be able to interpret our message to the president. But we need to tell you that we come in peace, so we are not miscreants, we are well-cultured human beings. Remember you swore an oath under the fifth schedule of the constitution. You say you not allow your personal interests to influence your official conduct. You tweeted you understand how angry we are and you apologize. See, Baba, hmm. this NSAS protest is to tell you how brutally cracked our hearts are. There is no race that is as enduring and accommodating as Nigerians. Deep down in our heart, we are still suffering, but yet we are still smiling. Imagine ordinary electricity we could not fix for 60 years. Nigerian youth have been able to prove to you that we are more responsible, accountable, and transparent. Nigerian witches and wizards are really falling our hand this time. This is the time you really need to manifest your power in Nigeria. The supposed giant of Africa is still a developing country. Chai, while I really be like bicycle. Mr. Vice President, Nigerians are the best set of human beings you can deal with. Can't you see how we represent the countries in different nations? The government has been failing us since the 60s, but we hide under the canopy of ego better. Mr. Vice President, out of 10 people that go out a day, three might not come back alive because Nigeria is not safe. This essence is to tell you that we are tired. What kind of country is this? We are not safe. Education is no more valuable. Over 80 million people are living in extreme poverty. The Nigerian minimum wage cannot even buy a full bag of rice. Our parents will send us to school with their own hard earned money, only for us to graduate with no job. Police brutality has been too much that we demand immediate justice. Justice for Chijoke. Imagine a police officer boasting that he killed a citizen and there is nothing anyone could do about it. Putting the family through so much trauma. Tina Ezekwe was just standing in a bus stop. Kolade Johnson was killed in a football watching center. Tiami Yukazin was a young football star that was pushed out of a moving stars vehicle. Ayomide Taiwo was killed because he refused to give a 15 naira bribe to the police officers. Ifioma Abugu was raped and murdered in a police detention. Nigerian police officers, don't you have human feelings? We understand that the government are not paying you people well. We all are fighting for the same thing. Why don't some of you join us and fight for the same cause? As long as you are embroidered under Section 25 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, let me remind you that you are strong, hardworking, and resilient. It is not easy to be a Nigerian. I want we you to know that we've already made an history, an history that they can never lie to us about, an history that can never be forgotten. All we just need is a peaceful resolution. Even if the support or not, we move. Even if that violence on us, okay, we move. Nigerians will never forget this day. The day we stood for our rights. The day we stood against injustice. The day we challenged the bad government and we hold them responsible. Those who killed our young ones and then offer us money for burial. Answers is just a slogan. This is an end to oppression. It is a mission of liberation. We are the wealth of the country needs to be redistributed. Police brutality is even the least of our problems. Very soon our political party will be registered. We are tired of failed promises. Justice needs to be served as soon as possible. The same SARS who killed innocent citizens might also be in new SWAT uniform. You need to govern us well. Remember you are our public servant. And please, we demand you make us happy. The youth have given you a golden opportunity to write your name in our hearts forever. So please do something.